Greetings Oracle Database fans, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial I'm going to discuss the uh, SQL plus spool command, spool uh, being S-P-O-O-L and the spool command S-P-O-O-L is a very useful SQL plus command which allows you to redirect the output of your SQL plus statements into a file on your uh, computer's operating system that being the operating system of, of your uh, database server or where you're running SQL plus okay so let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance which is a 11.2 um, 11G release 2 version Oracle database running on a uh, Windows uh, Vista operating system lab Lenovo laptop so and let's verify the contents of the variable Oracle SID and let's connect to our finance database by SQL plus okay SQL now let's ensure that we're connected via the sysdba user which we are sys and let's ensure we're connected to the correct database select name from v$sign database finance which we are okay so let's say we want to start spooling to a file under c colon the root of c on our Windows operating system called um, output okay now to see if your SQL plus session is currently redirecting output to a file that's spooling now this is like a T uh, the T command TEE -E in Unix or, or Linux this actually will redirect the output to a file but will also direct it to standard output as well so you'll be able to see it on your screen on your terminal on your screen so to see if this SQL plus session is currently spooling we type in the following spool like this and it's going to say not current not not spool in currently so this is telling us that the output is not being uh, dumped to a file and to the screen okay it's only being dumped to the screen so to go ahead and set it to start dumping to the screen we type in spool with an argument being the full path of the file we would like it to redirect the output to and in this case we want it to go to the C drive, the root of C, where our operating system is installed, sl colon slash, and we're going to call it output. The file will be named output. We hit enter. Now when we type in the spool command, we will see that it says currently spool in to C colon slash output dot LST. Now, notice how there's a dot LST file extension on this file, but we didn't specify that up here. That's because SQL Plus will automatically put a dot LST. Okay, on some operating system it will be LIS, but it's LST here, and obviously that stands for list. Okay, so we're currently spooling to this file. Now, let's type in some commands which generate output in SQL Plus. The first command will be, and it could be any command, will be select name from the dollar database, like so. We get the name of the database. Now we type in select table space name from DBA table spaces to get the list of table spaces defined in our database. Oops. Select table space name from DBA table spaces. I spelled table wrong, sorry. I apologize. Okay. So now to turn spooling off, you type in spool off. You get your prompt back. So spool off turns the spool in off disables the spooling that's currently uh, um, happening. Now if you type in spool again, you will see that it no longer says that it's spooling to a file. It will now say not spooling currently because it's no longer spooling. Now when you get out of SQL Plus and we're under the root of C here as you can see, that's where we are, and if we type in dir file dot lst I'm sorry, I'm sorry, output dot lst, we will see that SQL Plus has created a file output.lst for us, and if we more that, um, if we more that file, which um, gives us the contents of the file, but a line, uh, but from a line-to-line -line basis, so it doesn't scroll off the screen, we will see that everything. Here's the spool command that we entered, and here is the select name from database. Here's my typo here with select table spaces, and here's my uh, correct select table space on DBA table spaces all the way down to spool off alright so my whole session SQL plus session was recorded in the file output.list so you can see how spool can be a very interesting a command and a very useful command at that
Now, you know we have a file called output.lst. Now let's, and we know that it has those command outputs in it. Now let's go back into SQL Plus, let's type in spool. We'll see we're not currently spooling anywhere, not spooling currently. And let's turn on spool, but specify the same file name. If I type it in spool space c colon slash output, hit enter. If we type in spool, we see that we're currently spooling to c colon slash output dot lst again. So now let's type in another command, show user, which just shows us that we're connected as user sys. Now let's turn off spool, I type in spool off, type in spool to verify that we're not spooling anymore, not spooling currently. Let's get out of SQL plus and we will see that we have a file called output.lst, but when we type in the type command against it, which the DOS type command, which shows us the uh, contents of a file, we will see that it has overwritten the contents of the file of the previous file. Remember, the previous file had a select name from from V dollar sign database, had a typo, and had select table space name from DBA table spaces. But all we did was to tell it to spool again to the same file name, and by default, SQL Plus overwritten what was overwrote what was in that file and just and and put the new output in it. Okay. Let's say we wanted to append to that file rather than overwrite it, which is, seems to be the default. Well, what we can do is we can use the SQL plus clause or option, um, the spool option, uh, append, A-P-P-E-N-D. So we go in SQL plus again. We type in spool to ensure we're not spooling. We spool to the same file again, out, output, but this time we add the clause append. So spool space C colon slash output, SQL plus will automatically put a dot LST extension, space append. Now we type in spool. And we'll see that we're currently spooling to output.lst. Now we type in another command to produce output. Select user name from DBA users to get all the users to find our database. Now we turn spooling off. We type in spool again to verify we're not spooling anymore. We exit SQL Plus and we do a directory listing to see that we do have a file called output.lst. And now when we more the, fo the file output.lst to see the contents, we will see that we not only see that we have our show user output from our from our previous spooling se session, but we also have our um, a list of defined database users as well in the file from our from the from the SQL plus spooling session that we just completed. So if you add the so the default behavior if the file with with SQL plus spooling if the file already exists is to overwrite it, but we can um, override that default behavior by using the append clause uh, in, uh, in, SQ, in SQL uh, plus. Okay, now, let's say that you wanted to, um, you wanted SQL plus to, to flag, to throw up a flag if the file already existed. You don't want it to append to the file, and, but you don't want it to overwrite it either. Okay, you want it to flag. Well, you could do that with the following command, following clause anyway. Anyway, in SQL plus, do a spool to ensure we're not currently spooling, not spooling currently, and type in spool, and then the file name that we know exists, which is c colon slash output. Remember, SQL plus will automatically add the .lst extension, space create, the create clause. Okay, so spool, the name of the file that already exists, create. And you get an error that says file c colon slash output lst already exists. Use another name, okay? Or you could use use the replace clause, which also happens to be the default, okay? So this is just a warning that tells us that we need to select another another file. So I just select output one, do a show, do a uh, select name from v dollar control file, for instance, spool. We can do spool off, spool, and we will see that we have two output files. The first output.list is our commands from earlier, and our second output1.list is just the control file uh, listing that we did in our previous one. Okay, so that's how uh, spooling works in SQL. Plus. Now, let's experiment for a second here. And let's go ahead and SQL plus ensure we're not spooling currently, which we're not, and let's do spool c colon slash 
<coughs> pardon me, um, file, like so, and we do a spool, and we see that we're currently spooling the file. Now let's quit out of SQ, now let's uh, quit out of SQL Plus, and let's go back into SQL Plus, and let's type in spool. Okay, not spooling currently. So that little experiment just proved to us that spooling is a per SQL Plus session um, event. Okay, it will not continue when you get every time you go out SQL Plus, it it it, it implicitly um, does a spool off for you. Okay, under the covers. Okay, so you don't need to. So spool off will automatically happen when you quit out SQL Plus. So don't expect to start another another SQL Plus session and see that your files keep on appended. Okay, now your output keeps going to the file. Now this can be a useful thing to know. It seems obvious, but you'd be surprised what's not obvious uh, when you're when you start working with this stuff. Um, let's say you had multiple sessions, SQL Plus sessions, like a hundred of them, connecting to an Oracle database in some kind of a Windows batch file script or a Unix shell script or something that do different things, and you connect it every time for whatever reason, and you only type in spool during the first SQL Plus session. Well, guess what? Only the first SQL Plus session's output is going to be in that file because every time you start up a new session, you lose that spool. So always ensure that you do it. Now, here's something else. Spool space file, and we'll see that we're currently spooling. Now I'll type in the host command. Now the host command in most operating systems will exit from SQL Plus and temporarily put you in an operating system shell. Okay, like the DOS prompt here or the corn shell or bash shell prompt on Unix and Linux systems or what, or what have you. Okay, and you see that we're, we're temporarily um, back in, uh, in our uh, operating system shell so we can execute a command or do something and get right back in this. So SQL Plus is just minimized effectively at this point. We didn't close out of it. So we didn't officially exit out. Now if we type in exit, we'll get out of this operating system subshell, if you will, and get right back in SQL Plus. Okay, type in spool. And you'll see that you're still currently spooling the file that list. So that's a good thing to know as well that because SQL Plus session is just minimized, it's still the same SQL Plus session. So the same rule applies, okay? That we just talked about applies, which is that the spool will will still be valid because it's the technically the same SQL Plus session. You just temporarily put it on pause, if you will, and then start it, resumed it again. Okay? Alright, that's how you use spool and SQL+. Plus. Thank you.